Psalm 100 verse 3 tells us, Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Heavenly Father, thank you that you are in control of everything, that we are yours and you hold us in your hands no matter how we are feeling, through good times and more difficult times. Thank you for how you've held us through the coronavirus crisis and how you've been shining your light despite the restrictions in place. We pray that as lockdown begins to lift, that you would continue to give wisdom to Steve and to the church wardens with how preparations are made for the next stages. We pray that you would bless their decisions and bring a peace about the best ways forward for the church in the coming weeks and months in Aldridge. Lord God, you are sovereign over our country and we pray now for your guiding hand and wisdom on those leading us through these challenging times. We thank you for the work of the NHS and care homes in particular. We pray you will draw near to those who have worked so tirelessly and selflessly to fight this illness on the front line. As lockdown is easing in the UK, we pray for our country as we find our way forward in this new world. Be with businesses as they start to open and pick themselves up. For those businesses who will have to make some tough decisions in the coming months and for all those affected. We pray for those who will continue to be shielded, watching whilst others enjoy more freedom and social support. May you be near those who feel isolated. May you give strength to those who are fearful and anxious. And may you comfort those who mourn. As a national church, guide us in how to continue to engage with those seeking answers and assurances. Give us wisdom and vision. Lord God, we pray for the world and bring before you countries where there are limited resources and for those where they have seen a continuation of the pandemic on a larger scale or at second spikes. We ask that you would pour out your blessing, healing and protection in those places and ask for wisdom and sound decision making by the leaders of those countries for people's needs to be provided for in the best way. We pray particularly for developing countries and praise you for the development organisations that are continuing to work in difficult situations, such as Tear Fund, Latin Link, Compassion and Mercy Air. We ask for your continued blessing over them and your provision for their immediate and more long-term needs, enabling them to provide for the countries they serve. We pray too for your increased strength, unity and blessing by your Holy Spirit over the Church as a whole around the world, to help us facilitate your King's incoming in the most effective way. And we pray for your particular continued protection over our church family in places where it's more difficult to worship freely. God, we pray for the future of the world. We pray that we will be united as humankind as we look at shifting priorities in the months and years following the global pandemic. Give world leaders wisdom in tackling ongoing critical issues like climate crisis, famine, poverty and inequality. May we not forget the lessons we've learned and positives we've seen. May we look for a new normal that focuses less on status and more on community, family and tackling injustice. Help us all to look outwards more, to consider the needs of our neighbours worldwide and to build a better future for generations to come. Build and establish your kingdom on this earth and guide us all in what part we have to play for the glory of your name. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.